Hi, I'm Adrienne Bray, owner of KeyQuest Group, part of eXp Realty. Thank you for being here. Pretty excited for the video that you're about to watch. It's a deep dive into the February market information that I posted on all the social and drilling it down just for you. So take a watch and then let me know any specific questions you have. And I look forward to next month. And on to the good stuff. Can we skip to the good part? Uh, anyway, you're going to see some shining on my face because the sun is reflecting off the canal. And I'm going to look to the right because that's where my screen is. I could do something fancy and put it in front of me, but we all know that's fine. Anyway, okay. So this is the uh, information that was shared in the Instagram reel that probably brought you here. If not, what we were looking at is a market update for the month of February 2024 for the city of Cape Coral. This graphic here specifically is for the entire city of Cape Coral for single family homes only. Based on that information, it is pulling a median sales price of 415,000 with 66 days on market. 96.9% .9 of the properties are getting their list price and there's an inventory, my little bubble's blocking it, but 6.53 months of inventory. What I think is a really cool thing to understand and know and something I can help you with is um, that the market in the Cape is different based upon the area that you are um, interested in. So we have what's kind of called the four quadrants. We've got Southwest quadrant, Southeast quadrant, Northeast quadrant, and Northwest quadrant. And what you're looking for in a home location, that type of thing, you'll be in the different types, in the different quadrants. Um, so for this example, let's look at the majority of the Southwest quadrant is in zip code 33914. So, Pay attention to the numbers as I change up the search parameters so it's not the entire city, but specifically the zip code. Ta -da! As you can see, the median price has jumped from 415 to roughly 600,000. Days on market are now 55. Um, a little bit less percentage of people getting the list price that they're um, asking for at 95.7. And you can't see this. Let me zoom it up. Um, we now have eight months of inventory for the Southwest Quadrant. What are we seeing and why is that? So in the Southwest Quadrant, as you can see by this little map, by Southwest Quadrant, many of these are golf access. Now they might have some bridge obstruction, so it might be a, you know, a golf access in the type of boat is maybe only a pontoon or a deck boat. But anyway, Southwest has more golf access homes than other quadrants, thus the median price sold is higher. Um, let's take a look at another zip code, the southeast quadrant, which actually all of here can mostly, both of these zip codes are the southeast, but let's look at 33904 um, for comparison's sake. And again, pay attention to the numbers when they jump here as we get it to enter. So in this quadrant, um, our median price has gone down <clears throat> to 471 from that almost 600, but it's still above the 415 for the entirety of the Cape. We're now at 74 days on market. Here again, list price seems to be going a little bit further down and we have six months of inventory. A uh, little insider knowledge, both the Southwest and the Southeast um, have more properties that are potentially in a higher or I guess lower rated flood zone, depending on the phrasing you're using, more risk or more prone to flood. The Southeast did have, especially over here, um, a lot of storm surge from Hurricane Ian. So just having kind of that inform or that understanding, that would explain why some of these median sold prices are lower, even though they do have a lot of gulf access and actually unobstructed, no bridge meaning um, access homes. Potentially this is lower because there were more homes with damage. So maybe people are buying uh, the homes with damage, expecting to put money into them. Uh, this here, once I put that in, you'll see there are quite a few, um, pro quite a number, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? More properties here have less water 
uh, access, whether it is or isn't a Gulf access canal. In general, there's less canals in here. So like this whole little chunk, this whole little chunk. So that's going to affect the median sold price. So 33990 actually has a lower than the totality of the Cape. Median price of 376,000, way lower days on market because it's, again, that median price means that there's lower priced homes there with, you can't see it, but a five month supply. All right, let's do one more. Let's take a look at the Northwest Quadrant. That's a pretty up and coming area as well. 33993, it's a pretty large zip code actually. Um, So here we've got 389, 79 days on market, uh, seven month supply kind of affected this particular um, median. While there are a lot of Gulf access canals here, there are, I would say, I can't say majority, quite a few more canals that are not Gulf access. So people are enjoying um, being able to potentially build a newer home on a, uh, a larger newer home but not paying that lot premium because they do not have access to the Gulf. Um, there was a little bit of storm surge inundation kind of on this um, where the barriers are, the barrier um, mangroves and stuff. But I believe the reason why this would be a lower uh, median price is because there are so, it's a pretty vast area and then also a lot of property um, that is not either not on water or not Gulf access, even though there are quite a few larger home properties with um, that would, if we were to kind of drill in, we would see that they are well above this median price. That was fun. On to another graphic. So this here um, is a, another graphic that I shared in my reel for um, the market review for February. Um, right now I have it um, uh, the, the sorter on condominium. If I go up and remove condominium um, and go to single family, you'll see that we're back to that median house price. <clears throat> 48 days on market, it just is pulling it a slight, slightly different um, within a median of seven months supply. Um, I think this one's good because this one is showing uh, year to date, like year over year versus the monthly change. Um, so that's fun. Um, you can also see like right here, literally, so it's compared to February 2023 and then compared to last month. So I think that's a fun graphic as well. Let me know if you have questions or you want a deeper dive on this graphic. Here, um, this one is really can show you the difference between waterfront, Gulf access or no water. And unfortunately it's got a little glitch in it today. We'll have to maybe do a future um, update and hope that the glitch goes away. But right now I have it sorted to show the sales by um, waterfront. So this lower darker blue line is no waterfront and it's uh, all of Cape. It's not zip code specific. So, um, and this is where there's a glitch. So I have to go back annoyingly enough back to May of 2022 to show you what I would like it to show now. We can drill it down if you have questions. Anyway, so in May 2022, the median price for no waterfront, meaning no canal, nothing. It's just a regular lot, could have a, a pool, could not, because that's not what this is drilling down. The median price was 400,000. For that same time frame, if you were on water, oops, there we go, on water, but not Gulf X. So kind of like that Northwest Quadrant and I was describing just a little bit ago where potentially you are on a canal, but it doesn't have Gulf access to it. Um, those home's median price was 722000 And then for that same time frame, if it was a home that did have Gulf access, that home was, or the median price, sorry, it was 900000 So um, that's where I think it's super interesting to understand the data and the information and understand that your specific situation um, might mean a different median price. 